Ukraine's counteroffensive is moving inch by painful inch to try to reclaim Russian-held territory. But the public relations blitz, led by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, is tearing its way from the United Nations in New York, where he appealed to the global community to embrace his peace plan, to Capitol Hill, where he appealed to legislators for $24 billion in aid to support the war effort, to the Pentagon, where military officials reaffirmed their support. And from there, to the biggest stage of all, the White House. He held his sixth in-person meeting with President Joe Biden on Thursday. And together with our partners and allies, the American people are determined to see to it that you do all we can to ensure the world stands with you. And that is our overwhelming objective. Today I'm in Washington to strengthen our coalition to defend Ukrainian children, our families, our homes, freedom and democracy in the world. And I started my day in the U.S. Congress to thank his members and to people of America for all the big, huge support. This trip to a capital thousands of miles from the front matters, analysts say. What Biden is doing by giving Zelensky this platform is saying, these, this, this issue matters to us. This U.S. national interests are on the line here. And so we need to be paying attention to what Zelensky is saying and the, the requests that the Ukrainians are making. On Thursday, Biden announced a new package of military assistance that includes air defense capabilities and artillery. VOA asked the administration if they fully support Zelensky's 10-point peace plan, which he has been shopping to world leaders for nearly a year. Each of the individual elements of the peace plan, if you sat one of them down, sovereignty and territorial integrity, food security, ecological security, nuclear safety, um, to us it's not even a question whether we agree. Of course we do. These are just basic principles of the international system. They're consistent with the UN Charter. And we have said that President Zelensky's vision for a just peace is fully consistent with the United Nations Charter and with kind of decency and common humanity. But before there can be peace, Biden is asking Congress for $24 billion to fund Ukraine's war effort. On Thursday, Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy remained noncommittal, but members of his party expressed support. They need it, um, and they're going to get it. I, I, well, I said, you know, the majority of the majority support this. I know there's some dissension on both sides, but I said a war of attrition is not going to win this. And that's what Putin wants, because he wants to break the will of the American people and the Europeans. We can't afford a war of attrition. We need a plan for victory, and we need to do it soon. That urgent question is something that resonates, from the ornate surroundings of the West Wing to the wasted wreckage that Ukrainians used to call home. How much longer can this go on? Anita Powell, VOA News, The White House.